Hey guys, yeah, so I'm back again. Uh, I'm just coming back as tomorrow and Sunday and Monday and next week. It's gonna be raining, so this is kind of my last opportunity. Don't have a lot on the go today. Uh, gonna get back in the water. Uh, yeah, I was here this morning with my friend Jason. We found a bunch of really cool bottles that you can see in this video right here. And uh, I'm gonna go back in and see what else there is before uh, the weather turns. So I hope you guys enjoy this and hopefully you uh, find some cool stuff and uh, clean it up while we're at it. Oh man, that's so, so cool. Okay, all right. I gotta be so careful with this. Okay. Right. Oh my goodness sakes. Got a, a beautiful, beautiful bottle. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my goodness, it is. Big quill. Oh my gosh. So cool. Alright guys, I, uh, I'm in shock right now. I found some amazing things like this inkwell stoneware bottle. Just look how beautiful that is. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I found another squat, soda squat, and it's intact and uh, there's nothing written on it, but it's just a beautiful bottle. I was so happy to find that one. And then this one, H or Halifax NS, H.W. Glendinning. Look how beautiful this bottle is. Like that is just unreal. Let me get in the sunlight here. That's an absolutely stunning bottle, completely intact. I'm gonna just be so careful with this. And it's got the raised emboss there. I, I can't believe it. Like, look at that bottle. I'm so happy right now. Um, I found this, some lesser exciting things, a Nerf gun, which I thought was a real gun for a second, some plastic, a uh, Furby, a couple more bottles. Uh, this was an interesting bottle. It says Jordan on it, and it's got like a kind of some grape design there. I'll show you guys what's in the box or the bag here. Sorry, I just, I'm so excited. Um, I've got a broken uh, inkwell there. And um, this is like a, another uh, similar bottle to this one, but it's broken. Um, so I'm really, really excited that I've got the intact one of that. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Um, be careful here. I found this one. This was a heartbreaker. It's a rounded pop bottle and it says Cantrell and Cochrane, Belfast and Dublin on it. So that's... That's pretty cool. That would make a really cool cup. I guess I can't stand it on its end, but uh, just just a stunning piece of glass there. Um, we've got a broken teacup here. Um, I don't know what this was. Maybe a pickle mustard relish jar. Um, a broken milk, but I only held on to this because it says Nova Dairy on it. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of that dairy. I've got a lot of those now. Um, got a beautiful, kind of just like a modern day wine bottle there. Um, what else do we got in here? This one was, oh yeah, this was uh, another bottle kind of like this one there. It says soda water on it, not intact, but this is like some of the coolest bottles I've ever found. That looks like it belonged with that. What else here? Oh yeah, this was another rounded pop bottle, um, but nothing written on it. And um, another broken piece of a torpedo that says London on it. <clears throat> um, I don't know what the rest of that says, but I can't believe it. I'm getting so close. Maybe one day I will find an intact torpedo. And is that it? Oh, I forgot. There was another inkwell here. It looks almost intact. It's uh, chipped here, but it's still pretty cool. I can just kind of put it on display like this. And a little lid here and some more garbage. Another bottle in there, a couple little bottles here. I'll be careful. That's a Buckley's bottle. It tastes awful, but it works. Another little bottle there. Um, what else? This was kind of cool. I took this. This is uh, it's kind of the top. Maybe it's actually part of this. It was part of this bottle here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but it has the cork in it. So I, I held on to it because it's kind of interesting. I wonder if I can get that cork out and use it on this one. And uh, that's it. So amazing dive tonight. I uh, can't believe it. This ends the trilogy of this diving in this river. I'll probably start a new sequel trilogy. <laughs> 
um, to go back and look for more stuff. And it felt good to, you know, obviously clean up the trash and take plastic and, and crap out of here. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed being in the water. I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are in the world.